Homelessness continues to be a major issue in Philadelphia, notably on Kensington Avenue. In the city, approximately 5,700 people are considered homeless, with approximately 950 of them being unsheltered. In comparison to other parts of Philadelphia, this side of town has the highest concentration of homeless people. Homelessness is caused by a variety of factors, including poverty, inability to afford a place to live, and falling outside of the system, all of which makes meeting housing requirements more difficult. Sometimes mental illness plays a role. Many new people have become homeless as a result of the opioid crisis. Although the homeless population is spread throughout Philadelphia, including Center City, and across the country, Kensington Avenue has the highest number of homelessness. or suffering from a mental illness is not a crime. It is also not illegal to sit, occupy, or sleep in public places. Law enforcement officials do not arrest homeless people because doing so reduces their chances of finding housing and raises the public sector's cost. are always looking for ways to help those in need of a place to live while also protecting the rights of residents, businesses, and visitors. The 
The COVID pandemic has also exacerbated Philadelphia's homeless population. In addition to dealing with a massive increase in the number of homeless people in Philadelphia, there has been an increase in drug consumption. Notably for Kensington Avenue, the reason you see many people sleeping while standing, drowsing, and bending over is due to the drug xylazine. Xylazine is a sedative with analgesic and muscle relaxant properties that are used in veterinary medicine. It is used to calm and facilitate the handling of a variety of animal species, including cattle, sheep, and horses, as well as to perform diagnostic and surgical procedures, relieve pain, and act as a local anesthetic. Xylazine began to gain popularity in the mid 2010s. People who use and sold drugs alleged that xylazine had become a highly sought after substance and that it has become a much more common component of the local drug supply. The reports from Philadelphia, as well as hints that xylazine was appearing in other parts of the country, prompted the researchers and colleagues to try to track the drug spread across the continental United States. Xylazine was found in 0.36% of overdose death in 2015, according to research. It increased to 6.7% by 2020. It was found in one out of every five overdose deaths in some areas. Notably, the study discovered fentanyl, a powerful synthetic opioid that has come to dominate regional drug supplies in nearly every xylazine-related death, indicating that it wasn't just a tranquilizer that was causing these overdoses.
Right now, the drug supply is a complete mess. The number of contaminants is out of control and it's becoming increasingly difficult for researchers to keep track of them. What is happening now is people are not buying what they believe that they are buying or they are unaware of what they are buying. Kensington Avenue in North Philadelphia is well known for its drug use and prostitution. There are many people living on Kensington Avenue who are college graduates with a bachelor or even a master's degree. Many people turn to drugs as a result of a variety of unfortunate events that has occurred in their lives, such as the loss of a significant other, a career, and more. It is extremely difficult to explain addiction. It can be difficult, especially as a concerned loved one, to explain to yourself and others how your child, partner, or sibling became addicted to drugs. Many people on the outside believe that substance abuse is a bad choice in which someone should have said no, bad habit that just needs to be kicked, weakness that someone can't overcome the withdrawal symptoms, and moral failing that the person has given up. reality, drug addiction is none of the above. It is a chronic brain disease that cannot be cured with a simple no or change of mind. It is critical to recognize this before asking why do people become addicted to drugs or why did my child become addicted to drugs? 
More than likely, you may have additional questions such as, how did this happen? Your loved ones may have been properly raised with a strong moral foundation or in a good home, but they can still begin using drugs. The truth is that people use drugs for a variety of reasons, and they become addicted for a variety of reasons. It is critical that for the individual not to blame themselves or the loved one before you have thoroughly investigated the situation. As concerned family members, we frequently wonder why do some people become addicted to drugs while others not? This is a valid question, and many drug users don't believe they'll become addicted. The truth is that anyone can become addicted to drugs, and there are a variety of factors that make them more vulnerable. The following are some of the most common risk factors or potential causes of drug addiction. One, early life stressors, such as being abused or witnessing trauma. Two, abuse either physical or sexual in the past. Three, genetic vulnerability, such as other family members who struggle with addiction. Four, prenatal alcohol or drug exposure while in the womb. Five, lack of parental supervision or monitoring during adolescence, peer pressure from friends or social circles, or association with drug using peers. Mental health disorders such as depression and anxiety. A person's susceptibility to addiction can be influenced by a combination of genetic and environmental factors.
Genetics, according to National Institute on Drug Abuse, accounts for roughly half of a person's likelihood of developing an addiction. As a result, environmental risk factors such as stress, trauma, abuse, and lack of education, low-income neighborhoods, and high school parties play an important role. Adolescents who use drugs are more likely to develop a drug addiction behavior because their brain is still developing. Exposing the brain to drugs during this critical period can result in long-term brain changes and an increased risk of dependency later in life. According to research, nearly 70% of adolescents who tried an illicit drug before the age of 13 develop a clinical addiction within the next 7 years. Those between the ages of 18 and 25 are also at high risk as their brains mature. In fact, 9 out of 10 people who struggle with substance abuse began using before the age of 18. Science has contributed to a better understanding of how drug abuse affects people and how addiction develops over time.